Hello there, this is Dave Allen from Mac to Questions, and today we're going to have a look at iBooks Author. Today we're going to be bringing in some text. And what I'm going to show you is how to sort out the text that you bring in with some styles. So when you get into using iBooks Author, you'll soon see that it's not possible to open up a project without having a template attached to it. So let's just choose the antique template and get started. It comes with one section in there already, and I'm going to add another section. And that new section will be a section of text. So let's go into this first section of text and we're going to do some stuff with it. So what we'll do now is we'll go to ByWord, which is the application I've used for creating the text in the first place. And as you can see, I've got this set at the moment so that it is showing the HTML preview. So I'll just change this back so you can see what it looks like in Markdown. So let's go back into the HTML preview, select all of the text and copy it into the clipboard. So then we'll go back into iBooks Author put our cursor inside this text box here and press Command V. Now, unless you're visually challenged, you're going to notice straight away that we've lost all our formatting for our text. We don't have any headers anymore. Where did they go? Well, this is not too big a piece of text, so it wouldn't be too difficult for us to just manually work through each of these paragraphs and style them up correctly. The first thing to do is to make sure that the sliding styles drawer is out and available for us to have a look at. If I put my cursor in this paragraph here where it says what's new in iBooks Author, you will see that it's showing up as body text. Body text is OK, but it is actually supposed to be a header. So let's just scroll down a little bit in this paragraph styles list here and come down to where it says heading one and click on this disclosure triangle. We'll choose F1 as the hotkey for heading one and we'll do the same sort of thing for heading two and choose the F2 key for that. You only need to have your cursor within the paragraph and press the hotkey and it will be updated to the proper style. Now we'll put our cursor into the next paragraph and press F2 and we'll have the header 2 sorted out. So now quickly and easily we can go through all of the paragraphs and assign the styles to them. So you might find other little problems such as this section here where we've got a header and the paragraph that is supposed to be right underneath it is over on the next page and we can sort that out. So all we need to do is to go over to the inspector and change that to keep with following paragraph. So we've got it right that the paragraph that's supposed to stay with the header, they stay together. But now we've changed that style. So what we need to do is go to the paragraph styles in the slide out drawer and you'll see a little red disclosure triangle pointing down there. And that tells you that we need to update that style for that text. So by changing the details of the style, what's going to happen is that any other places where there is a header to followed by a paragraph of body text, they will stay together as we want them to. So let's now go to section two of our book here. And this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to do paste it in. Instead of doing an ordinary paste, we're going to paste and retain style. So paste it in there. And as you can see, we've got all of these styles coming in there when we paste it in. So let's put the cursor into one of these paragraphs and we can see that it's come in there as freeform text. We can see that by looking in the paragraph styles over on this sliding out drawer here. Next what I'll do is put the cursor into this body of text here that looks like body text and we can actually see that it's also freeform text in the styles. So what we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to do the same as we did before in the other section. We're going to select this heading and press the F1 key and turn that one into a header one and do the same sort of thing with the header two styles. So although the text came in with some styles in it, by making all these changing, we're changing them away from the styles that they were brought in as and making them to be the same styles as the ones that are right for the template. Now, if we put the cursor into one of these paragraphs here where it's supposed to be body text, we can look and see that it's still actually free form text. So what we need to do is to make some changes and make that all as body text for this style. OK, so what I'm going to do now is show you a little trick which will allow you to select all of the areas that are left as freeform text and convert them so that they're all body text as they're supposed to be. So just click on this red disclosure triangle and tell it to select all instances of freeform text. And then what we're going to do is we're going to see that it's selected it all and then convert it all to body text. And before you know it, everything has been changed to be in the correct format. So the benefit of having all of your text set up with styles 
is down to the later stage when you decide that maybe you want to change the body text in one particular way you can make a change to the style and that change will be reflected throughout the document easy peasy all you have to do is to make changes to one piece of text and get it to look just the way that you want it to look and then go to the paragraph styles for that particular style and you'll see a red uh, disclosure triangle then tap on that and then tell it to redefine style based on selection and the job is done so there you go now you know the reasons why that you should be using a template and using the styles with a template within your iBooks author projects and why it is that you can't open up a project in iBooks author without having some sort of template attached to it so there you go this is Dave Allen for Mac Tuna Questions talk to you again soon Thanks for watching the video and why don't you check out the other videos, here's two of them. There's one video there and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon, bye bye now.